Good morning, everyone. Shannon here with Fit for Profit, where we help wellness business owners keep more of your money so you can focus on the heroic work you do in our world. So happy Thursday, everybody. I'm super excited to be here with you, and I hope you are having another amazing week doing what you love to do in the world. So last week, Dean talked with you about happiness and asked, are you happy? And I absolutely agree with everything he said last week. It was really good. So if you didn't watch it, go back and watch that for sure. And today, I just wanted to add another layer onto that question and ask, what is freedom to you? And do you have freedom in your life from your business? Maybe is an, another way to look at that. And there's lots of ways to talk about freedom. And that's why I asked, what is freedom to you? So before I get started, I do wanted to mention that I am going live in a couple different places. I'm live in our Facebook group um, as I am every Thursday morning and or we are every Thursday morning. I'm also live on our Facebook page. So if you're there, um, there's a link in the post to join the group if you want to uh, be part of that group and get these lives every week. I don't always go live on our page. I'm also going to be posting this to YouTube and uh, probably Instagram for the first time. So if you're on those places and you want to follow along, that would be great. Um, and I will post some comments in the or links in the comments to join the group and or to connect with us otherwise if you're not in the group. And we're going to be talking about a giveaway here in a little bit. So if you are in the group, you know that we are running a giveaway this week. So definitely be sure to invite people into the group. Again, the link is in the post here to invite people. DM is the best. Um, and if you're watching after the replay or after the giveaway is over on a replay, uh, like I said, there'll be a link in the comments to connect with us. And we can definitely talk more about anything we ever talk about on one of these lives on a connection call with you as well. If you're curious about how we can help you with what we are talking about on our Thursday lives. So like I said, today I wanted to talk about freedom and what is freedom. And some of you may remember that I spent a lot of time driving and I listened to a lot of podcasts. And yesterday I was listening to one with uh, John Lee Dumas of EO on Fire. And uh, he has a new book out, It's Common Path to Uncommon Success. And he was talking about what his definition of freedom is. And it just really resonated with me. So I thought I would share it with you. He says, freedom is the ability to do what you want with who you want and where you want to be. And, and that just pretty much encapsulated freedom for me, doing what I want to be able to do with who I want to do it with, where I want to do it. And so that can be in your work life. It can be in your business. It can be in pleasure. It, it can be anywhere. Like, are you doing what you want to do? Working can be what you want to do as long as you're doing it with the people that you want to do it with. So you, you get to pick your clients, you get to pick your team, right? That's why a lot of us go into business um, to be able to do those things. And are you doing it where you want to be able to do it? You know, whether it's from your couch or from your living room or from a brick and mortar store? Is it in Montana or is it on the beach somewhere? I mean, all of those things are where it is. So I would just invite you to leave a comment below and tell me what one of those three things is for you. Like, what do you want to be able to do whenever you want to do it with who you want to do it and wherever you want to do it? So um, I think that would just be fun to get to know each other a little bit better. So of course, for me, I mean, our whole purpose is to help people keep more money. So money or freedom does start with money in a lot of ways. It doesn't have to. And the amount of money can be different uh, for different people. It will be different for different people. Like I said, if your place is the back country of Montana, it's going to be a lot different money requirements than it would be uh, a beach house on a coast, let's say. Like there's just things about that that are going to be different money requirements. Same thing with your business. If you have a brick and mortar, you're going to have different money requirements than if you're running an online uh, business. And that's your choice, but it does start with money for me. And money gives you those choices. So that's why we are still going to start any time we talk with clients, we talk about profit first. Um, and making sure that the finances in your business are taken care of so that you can have that freedom. Otherwise, we're tied to the doing of our business, um, like kind of what Dean talked about last week, and 
there, there isn't as much freedom involved in that. So this is why we're really focused on uh, Profit First. And it does, Profit First helps both personally and in business. So um, one of my favorite things that happened this week is I got to talk with a client who is on a six week maternity leave and she is getting able to pay herself for or during that time, not for that time, just during that time, uh, because she implemented Profit First. So her business is taken care of financially while she's gone, and she's paying herself because of Profit First. So it helps both personally and on the business finances. So then the second part of freedom for me is the time, right? Because really that's all we have. We are given a, a certain amount of time on this world and uh, it's different for everybody and we don't necessarily know when it's going to come to an end, but we know that it will end at some point. And so that's really all we have. So again, that's why it's super important that you pay yourself well for the time that you are putting into your business so that you at least feel compensated and that um, the time is worth something. But it's also important because you get to choose, you get to choose how much time you use where, right? So again, for this client, the ability to have that time with her brand new baby. And I know most of you go into business. Um, I, I think everybody in the wellness space, especially goes into business for two reasons. Um, it's to help people. It's to help people with whatever you do, whether it's to help people feel better, help people look better, help people move better, whatever it is that you do. And it's to have some level of freedom, right? Freedom from a boss, freedom from coworkers that you don't like. You get to choose now, right? But so many times we see people who are, um, they, they have the freedom to uh, work where they want, and, but they've really committed themselves to a job and, and they haven't created systems and they don't have freedom of time to be with babies when babies are born or to be with loved ones when loved ones are ill or dying even. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you can walk away from your business, how you can have that time freedom in your life from your business. And you know that I am a huge Mike Michalowicz fan, the author of Profit First. He also wrote a book called Clockwork that I meant to have with me and forgot it's on my bookshelf over there. Um, I read Clockwork about, mm, I think, four years ago. And clockwork is all about being able to walk away from your business. And a lot of times we think about being able to walk away from your business in the sense of like getting hit by a bus and it being very unplanned. And the idea is that you can walk away from your business tomorrow if you had to without a lot of planning. It requires that you have a lot of systems in place. That's what the whole premise of clockwork is, is that you have systems in place. You can do it as a solopreneur. You can do it as a very small business. In fact, this client that I was just talking about, she she owns a salon and it's her and one other stylist. And then they have an admin person. And the stylist is only working because she's out. So she has a network of people who will cover for her. She obviously had some time to plan because of a pregnancy. Um, but she has that network that will support her even if it was unplanned as well. So like I said, the idea behind clockwork is that it's unplanned and we're preparing for that unplanned time. But I read it four years ago and I took a year to plan for my first, um, what Mike in the book calls a clockwork vacation. It's a four week vacation where you walk away from your business for four weeks and it runs on its own. And the preparation for that is setting up all of the systems, the things that you are doing. And then the you take little tests along the way, one or two week vacations. But the idea of a four week vacation is that it's really one whole cycle of your business. So everything that needs done in your business should be done in that one month time. And if it doesn't get done when you get back, then you know you have those are the holes you have to fill. Uh, I, most of the time, you know what they are ahead of time and you prepare for it. So um, what I wanted to do today is when I said an expanded giveaway, comment below uh, what that what one of those pieces of freedom is for you. And I want to give away um, a, a clockwork book as well. Uh, I don't have one. I'll buy one and get it shipped to you. But I really firmly believe that you in order to have a business, you have to have clockwork to your business. You have to have the systems in place. You can systematize everything and anything. There are lots of people, I've seen lots of posts this week about systematizing your clothing for some reason. And um, I have to admit, I've done that in some way. So you can systematize anything and everything, especially in your business. And if you want the freedom to work where you want to work, 
when you want to work, with who you want to work with, then you have to have those systems in place. Um, so I'm getting ready to take my third clockwork vacation this summer. And it's really fun at this point because I realize I get to improve the business every day. The things I do are improving the business. They're not so much running it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and that allows me to take these planned vacations. It also allows me to take the unplanned ones if necessary. It allows me to be there for the happy things in life, to have the freedom to be with babies when they're born or loved ones when they're sick or to move and take a month to do it and not be rushed and stressed to get it all done in a week because that's the most time I can take away from my business or um, a wedding or there's just so many things that can be happy. So it doesn't have to be thinking about, oh my God, what if I get hit by a bus? It can be like, I want to take time off. And this is what's good for me and my business, my clients, the sustainability of the business. So lots of reasons to do this. Like I said, leave a comment below um, what freedom is to you. What piece of it? Where would you love to be working if you could work anywhere? Who would you want to be working with? What would you be doing? Is it what you're doing right now? Or would you just travel all the time? Um, and it doesn't have to be travel. Maybe you absolutely love where you live and you would just sit on your deck and enjoy the sunshine like I'm going to go do right now. So leave one of those below. I'll pick a winner to receive a clockwork book and I'll be in touch. And then, like I said, if this um, would be helpful to anybody else, feel free to invite them into the group. And we do have the giveaway going on for a, a Profit First book as well. So I hope this was helpful and we will be back. Eric will be back next Thursday at 1030 and we will see you then. If you have anything that um, you want us to talk about, be sure to leave a comment on that as well. And we will be sure to cover it either next Thursday or in an upcoming week. So hope everybody is having a great week. Have a great weekend and we will see you back here next week. Take care.